Hey guys and welcome back to my nail journal. So in today's video we're going to be looking at all of the stuff that Yayogi sent me. They did send me this. Um, they asked me if I wanted to be an ambassador and I told them I'd like to try their products before doing that. So this is what they asked me to choose something. Here's what I chose. I know this is Halloween themed. Um, I had asked them to put in a Christmas plate. They forgot to so we're just going to test this out with the Halloween um, plate but so this is stamping but with gel they have stamping gel so you cure it in the light it's not like regular stamping polish so it only dries when you're ready for it to dry um, because we had I had talked to them about Christmas themes I did ask them to send me one of these so we'll have a look at this and then they sent me their stamper and their scraping card as well so they have a few of color themes of these little packages of gems. Let me see if I can open this without spilling them everywhere. I chose the red one because I wanted to use it for Christmas. But they have, like I said, a few colors. There's an emerald one that's really pretty too. So I like when companies put together these little themed um, things of gems and rhinestones because it's easier to like match up what you're doing. So in all red, you know what I mean? It looks like most of these are pointed back. There are a few flat backs in there. There's a few micro beads. There's gold metal pieces. So Yayogi also sells poly gel, and poly gel would be really good to cluster these um, pointed back ones. Or you could put like a thick layer of builder gel, a little big dollop of it to kind of push those into the builder gel which is probably how I'll do it. But I thought that this set would be really pretty for Christmas, all the red and gold. So you can buy the stamping gel as a kit. I got black because I figured black goes with everything. I guess this was actually a Halloween kit and I didn't realize it. Um, and I had asked them to send me a Christmas plate because Halloween was going to be over by the time I got this. They just forgot to put the plate in. So let me see, I know you peel off the blue film. There we go. So you peel off the blue film because you won't be able to stamp with that on. And then you have your shiny new stamping plate. And I have like three swatch sticks that I've prepped for this. And then let's go ahead and open up our stamper. So they do come with a little scraper. And because this is gel, it did say on their website that it can be scraped like multiple times. And their little stamper. This thing is so fun to like touch. <laughs> but it's glittery and you can see through it. So that way you can see where you're placing it on the nail. So that's really nice. So I'm not going to put a gel color on this at all. Um, so I, you will have to use like base gel, I think, because this is gel, remember. So this is what's going to help it really stick down. So let me apply base gel to my swatch sticks and cure that for 30 seconds. So on their website, they did mention that you can um, use a latex peel around your skin before doing stamping. For example, I use UNT under my dip powder to be able to peel my dip powder off. Um, but I do keep the Sparkling Co. Peel Base um, and for this purpose of stamping. Because you can add a big thick layer of this on your skin around the cuticle area let that dry and then that way if you get any stamping on your skin it'll peel right off so i have a couple of paper towels laid down here so just so i don't make a huge mess and i believe the website said that you cure the stamping gel for 60 seconds and this is a black gel and black the pigmentation for black is really hard you have to cure black a little longer than normal colors because black doesn't let light get through Let's see what we want to do I definitely kind of want to do this Grim Reaper first because that one looks super cool and then maybe we'll do one of the ones with the cats 
So let's go ahead and open the gel and it has a little tiny tube opening so that too much doesn't come out. And I'm just going to put, I don't think you need a lot. I've really never done stamping before. So I'm just going to put like that much on there, I think. I know it's like glaring from the light, but see that little glob? And then you get a scraper. And I'm going to, it says you can scrape it multiple times. And you can clean all this off with alcohol. You don't have to have nail polish remover. So let me just, again, I've never really done stamping. So if, if the transfer of the design is bad, that is 100% on me. Okay. And then we're going to get our swatch stick and this, and I believe you just like roll this on. Oh God, I, <laughs> I don't know how that's, I have some on my finger too. Okay, but I don't think this is going to transfer well. I don't think I... I did a very good job, but let's see. I kind of push this down here and roll it. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> I didn't do a very good job. Okay, so let me let me clean this all off with some alcohol first. And I'm gonna try that again. Like I said, you guys, I I've never really done stamping. I did it like one time a long time ago. Um so Let's see. I'm, I don't know if I'll have to reapply. I'm not going to worry about reapplying the base gel because this isn't on my real nails. So I don't really care if it'll peel off of the swatch stick, if that makes sense. So that's the cool thing, though, because this is gel. You don't have to rush um, applying it because it's not going to dry. And see how easy that is to clean off with some alcohol? It's not going to dry until you cure it. So let me just make sure I get all that off of here. I'm not sure how much I should put on the plate. I don't know if it should be like a big glob or I don't know what I'm doing. And then let me get another paper towel with alcohol to clean off the actual stamper. It, just, it cleans off so easy. It just wipes right off. And then we'll kind of like let that, alcohol dries pretty quickly, so we'll kind of let that air dry while I try this again. Okay, so let me make sure the plate's dry. Okay, I don't know how much I should put on it. Okay, I'm going to put like... Maybe a thicker glob. And then, is my scrape game not that good either? And see now, is that too much? Because it, it I noticed last time it kind of did like a, it transferred as like a blob. So I don't know if I'm adding too much or not enough. I'm scared now. <laughs> It doesn't have a strong smell either. I don't notice like a weird smell or anything. Okay, I think the picture might have got on there a little better. Okay. See it? I think I did it a little better that time. Okay. I don't think I got the Grim Reaper on there very well. Nope. <laughs> okay, but you can see like the cauldron, right? <laughs> so this is where if this was your finger, all that mess up there, that's where it would be really good to apply that latex so you can peel that off before curing. I'm going to try and wipe some of that off. Oh, nope, I just smeared the picture. Okay, I'm going to clean this off again and try a different design. Hold on. Okay, so I think I'm going to try this little cat one. And I think last time when I put a bigger glob 
of the gel on there. I, it seemed to pick the picture up better. I don't know. I don't know the science behind stamping. I didn't really clean this off. Okay. I do kind of like how you can scrape it multiple times though. You don't have to like do a quick swipe. I hope this will work. I Again, I don't know the science or the true procedure behind stamping. Okay, I don't think it's perfect, but it'll work. I'm going to try to do it on one that still has the fresh base gel on there. So I'm just kind of pressing down and then kind of rolling it off. Oh yeah, see that's a little better. That's not too bad. Um, let me see if I can get a little brush, like a small art brush, and I'm gonna get some alcohol on it and see if I can't then more neatly clean up down here. Okay. And then I'm going to face the light away from all this stuff so I don't cure it on the plate or anything. And I'm going to cure that for one minute like they suggest while I clean up the rest of this mess. Okay, so this cured for, oh, I cured it for one minute <laughs> and it came off. Um, let me cure it for another minute, maybe. I don't think it's supposed to come off like that. Uh, so I don't find that you have to clean off the scraper in between, really. Just clean off this, and when I wipe off the stamper, I'm wiping it really gently with a paper towel and alcohol. And when the alcohol dries, it does feel sticky again. So while that's curing for another full minute, let's try um, the little bats, I think, on this third swatch stick that still has a fresh um, base gel on there. So I'm just kind of putting a thick glob across the top. I don't know if that much is necessary or if I'm kind of wasting it. So, and then I'm just like continuously scraping downwards because I'm trying to have the black fill in the bats, the design of the plate without a lot of black being on top because that kind of like smudges it, it seems. I don't know. And then sort of definitely have a lot of paper towels ready. Just trying to really scrape away the excess, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I don't really find that you have to roll it on this. I just kind of press it down and roll off. But see, yeah, it's still like smudgy. And I don't think I got... One of those bats didn't get filled. So let's see. I'm going to look in here. Press kind of down and roll off. So one of the bats didn't really get filled. And you see what I mean? There's like the black smudge in between. I don't know if another color would be easier to use or if I just don't know how to stamp. And so that's why I'm making like the biggest mess trying to do this. Um, but the other swatch just fell out of the light and on the floor. So I had this in the lamp for I know two minutes and I just touched the cat and you can see my fingerprint and it came off. Um, I, it's not curing. I have a 80 watt lamp that is LED and UV and their website said LED UV two minutes. It's not curing though. Um, so. I don't know if it's because I don't know how to stamp, because I don't usually do stamping, but this is a mess, and I think I, this is like another reason why I don't really get into stamping, because this is really messy. Um, luckily it is gel though, so it doesn't dry, and apparently after 
going on three minutes in the lamp. It doesn't want to dry at all. So, I don't know. I kind of would like one of you that... If one of you wants to try this and you do stamping regularly, I'd love to hear your opinion on this because I don't know everything with stamping. I don't know, like, what's the proper amount. Okay, so that was just the third minute in my lamp, and it's not drying. So this other one's been in there even longer, and it's not curing. So I don't know what that's about. I'm going to throw these away, though. I don't know why it's not curing. I don't know if it's because it's a black gel. Uh, I don't know if it's because I put it on there so thickly. I don't know. I'd Like I said, I'd love to hear the opinion of somebody that does gel more regularly. And is kind of like a veteran of the game. And knows what they're doing. And maybe um, they would like this more. Maybe I don't like it because I don't really know how much to put on there. Uh, I could see where it being gel would make it easier because it doesn't dry till you're ready for it to dry and it does seem like it would be easier cleanup because you don't have to rush and you just have to use alcohol so then you're not having to also worry about getting fingernail polish remover and acetone on stuff I don't know if I like the stamping gel and again I don't really know if I like stamping in general it just seems really messy and like a lot of work I prefer decals but if you want to check out anything on the Yayogi website, they did give me a code. Um, I didn't apply to be an ambassador, so I don't get commission off the code. You guys just get a discount, and that's it. And like I said, they have multiples of these. They have all kinds of stuff, honestly, besides just the stamping gel. Um, and this does get sticky again after wiping it with alcohol, but it does look more foggy to me. Anyway, so they, they also sell... Poly gel, I believe, and gosh, they have all kinds of stuff, honestly. I think gel polish, I don't know. I'll link their website and everything down below, and I'll put in the code that they gave me in case you guys want to get anything. And like these are really cheap too, these are, I think are under three dollars. So, thank you guys for watching. I don't know why this stamping gel is not curing for me. I like I said, I have an 80 watt lamp that is LED and UV. It's a hybrid lamp. So I cured it for two minutes like they suggested. And then I cured it for an additional two minutes and it still was not drying. I don't know if it's a user error or not. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.